Hey everyone, Judy here at URE Farm. It's a beautiful, cool, somewhat cloudy October morning, mid-October, and I'm working with strawberries this morning. Larry's out working with wood. We've started up our wood stove, so he's working on wood so we can have that for the stove. And I'm working on my strawberries this morning, and I want to take you along and show you how I'm doing this this year, a little different method, and I want to see how that works out because I'm not disturbing the soil as much. It's a more natural way, and I want to see if it can work out good this way. I love to start out in the spring with ripe, juicy, organic strawberries. So I work on those in the fall to get them started so we can have strawberries in the spring. I have a new project here under the grow lights. These are strawberries, Chandler strawberry plants. My goal is to grow these so that they produce runners that I can plant in the fall. Now, I haven't done this before, so it's something new, and they were bare root plants, and I have potted them up in yogurt cartons, so they have plenty of room to get started. To prepare this bed, first I sowed seed and planted a cover crop. I used Crowder peas, pearl millet, beans, and buckwheat. Then I let that get as mature as I wanted it. Then I cut that down and I let it lay there and just let the bed rest until I was ready to plant the strawberries. And you'll notice over on this side that I did put one row of black ground cover down, which I don't really like to use. But I was taught years ago that these strawberries needed a black ground cover and a raised bed in the spring to help the soil warm up to help the strawberries get started growing good in the spring. So this time I wanted to try growing them without the ground cover. So I did one row with it and the rest without so I could compare and see if the black ground cover really did make a difference. These are the strawberry plants that I purchased in July. I purchased 10 bare root plants and I put them in the house under grow lights to start with to get them started so they could develop the roots good before I put them out into the sunshine. So I left them in the house for two or three weeks till they got started good. And then I brought them outside and put them in the shade for a full day and then gradually got them used to sunshine. And then sometime in August, I planted them in this bed. Now you can see they've grown some nice runners. You can see this one. It has not rooted yet, but here's one that's rooted very well. Here's one that's rooted very well. So, got my trial here now, and I'm going to take up some of these that have rooted and put them over here in this bed I've made. So, we'll start with this one. You can see what a nice plant that's made, what nice roots it has on it. So this is what I've done this year rather than purchase a flat of 50 plants. I've grown some of my own, save on cost a little bit, and it's interesting to try new things.
there. You see the roots on that one? And this one also. It's kind of cloudy today and there's a good chance of rain tomorrow. So I think it's a good time to move plants when there's not so much sunshine. Now when I plant these, I want to be careful to just get them planted right up to the top of the roots and not cover up the crown of the strawberry. work without this plastic but since I was advised years ago that these strawberries needed the heat from the black plastic to get them started in the spring I'm going to leave I'm planting one little row with the black plastic just to see how it compares to those grown without the plastic see how that turns out now I'm going to take this little runner off I don't want it here now there now we have it now I've taken up most of the runner plants from here. There are a few left that I plan to take up later that I didn't need right now. But I've left some other plants here. There were 12 of those. I ordered 10 and they sent two extra ones. So I'm going to let the mother plants grow here. Then I have this bed over here that I just planted with the runners that grew. So I started out with 12 plants and now I have 67 planted total. Next I plan to, uh, after the leaves fall on the ground, I plan to get enough leaves to mulch this with leaves and then it will be ready for the winter. Now that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a blessed day and I wish you happy gardening and thank you for watching.